The greatest piece of Mario media ever created shares a name with this piece of crap game. Yo! Super Mario, Super Mario, Super Mario World. This cartoon is pretty weird. I mean, all the old Mario shows are, but this is the black sheep even among those. The Mario Super Show is the most well-known. It's mix of live action and animation made for some interesting television, and being the first Mario cartoon based on the first two games, it's a classic, and even got a nod in the new movie. Then came a show based on Mario Bros. 3, which was better in almost every way. It introduced the Koopalings, cut episodes down to 11 minutes of pure animation, and used all the new power-ups in really fun ways. But a year after that, they made Super Mario World, the animated series. And instead of being set in the Mushroom Kingdom, or the quote, real world, it stays true to the game and takes place in Dinosaur Land. Dinosaur World! Nope, it's Dinosaur Land. Dinosaur Wolf! Shut the hell up. I was hoping it'd provide more context as to why they're there but they really gloss over it. The intro shows Mario and co in this world with a bunch of cavemen and dinosaurs. Then it jumps right to the first episode's plot, and we've just gotta accept that that's what's happening. It's a kid's cartoon, so the episodes just have to make sense of standalone plots, which they do, but if that's the case, then why do they explain everything in the last episode? Nothing up until this point connects this show to the older ones. Then they explain it all in the finale. Like, why even bother at that point? To get you up to speed, they went vacationing there after defeating Bowser previously, but he just happens to be there too and kidnaps Peach. So Mario and Luigi have to go save her, and with the help from their new friend Yoshi, they succeed, and I guess just resume their vacation. Yeah, it's just the events of the game. So these episodes are the untold stories that followed it up, which is a pretty cool premise for a show. The main crew this time around consists of Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. The first three are almost identical to the characters they were in previous shows, and they keep the same voice actors from Mario 3, which sound pretty good. Never back down, never give up! Poor Mario! Poor dinosaur! He doesn't know the indigestion he's in for! New is Yoshi, who kinda replaces Toad in the lineup, and he was never really my favorite. But Yoshi is the worst fucking thing about this show. He's supposed to be a baby, I, I guess, and his voice reflects that in the most annoying way possible. Yoshi, not go in there! Yoshi, too scared! Emergency number! Emergency number! Oh, I scared Mario! Does ice mean there's water? No, Yoshi. You lied to me. And if you didn't notice, he's afraid of everything. So all you hear is this whiny-ass, high-pitched talking, and it brings down every episode that's focused on him. But hey, at least they got rid of Toad's voice, right? Right? <laughs> Wrong! Say hello to Ukdar, a cave child that's the biggest brat ever. And he's voiced by the same guy as Toad, except it sounds like he's trying to do a kid's impression of Krusty the Clown. Whoa! Yoshi eat piranha plant! Hey, hey! <laughs> At least Toad's character was somewhat redeemable. This little bastard's just a nuisance. And to make it worse, he's usually interacting with Yoshi and the two just bicker and argue over things. It's not entertaining, it's just obnoxious. Taking place in a prehistoric world, it makes sense to have a more prevalent caveman character in the main cast, but they went about it the wrong way. And even with all these new characters and dynamics, you can tell the show runs out of ideas pretty quick. By mid-season, we're already getting a main character become Santa episode. If that's not a clear indication, I don't know what is. I think the plots excel most when they're focused on Mario or Bowser introducing the cave people to some form of modern technology, and things just going amok. Most standard Mario plots were used up or done better in the previous series, so when they take advantage of what makes this show setting different, we usually get better episodes. Mario reinvents the wheel, like actually, he teaches them how to play football, because reasons, and he invents the telephone, which they eventually realize is bad for society. Hmm. The ones where Bowser does the inventing are a bit better though. He does it with manipulative intent, and since the people are so dumb, they fall right into the trap. Including the Mario Brothers, they're just as stupid. He gets people hooked on fast food, addicted to television, and tries to ruin their crops so they're forced to rely on Walmart. I, I mean, Koopa Mart. The man's just trying to make your life easier. Mario even says, Now all we have to do is bash a few blocks and rake in the buckaroos. Instead of doing that for food, Bowser demonstrates a little bit of capitalism to make things easier for everyone, and now he's the bad guy. But I hungry! Communism. Good. Those types of episodes only take up around half the season, and the other half is either generic Mario plots, or stories focused on Uktar and Yoshi, which are the worst. The only other notable characters are the Koopalings, and they can be pretty annoying too, but they're not the focus of any episodes. Most of the time, they have a plan to defeat Mario, Bowser approves, it fails, and he just scolds him. 
The pilot is the only exception, and it opens with two minutes straight of Wendy throwing a tantrum, which almost made me scrap this entire video. But that's honestly the worst of it. No matter the premise though, every episode struggles to fill that 11 minutes, and the jokes just aren't there to carry it. They're either way too obvious or not funny. Well, since you ate the whole thing, now you can do the whole thing! Pass the veggies, please, Mario. My pleasure. Oops! I just invented the tossed salad! <laughs> Get back, you despicable dinosaurs! You're dealing with a licensed plumber here! Okay, that last one's pretty good, but still. I understand that it's supposed to make a much simpler audience laugh, but as an adult, I was trying to find humor and couldn't. It's not so bad that you can just laugh at the stupidity like something like hey. the Donkey Kong Country cartoon, but it's not good enough to be unironically enjoyable. The only thing about each episode that really stands out is how they handle the action sequences, and that's not for a good reason. All the tension leads up to one high intensity moment, and how else can the audio support it than with a song? <laughs> Funny thing is, this is all original for the show. And not only does it sound terrible, but it just doesn't fit what's going on. Like, at all. Just follow me, don't be afraid. No matter what we face. Just take my hand and hold on tight. Together we'll finish the race. Ready, ready, ready to go. Ready for a decade. It's fast paced, I'll give it that but it's a tonal juxtaposition to the action on screen, and I think almost any other track from the game would have worked better. Visually speaking though, these are probably some of the most enjoyable segments in the show. Mario does what he does in the games, and it's well animated. And in general, the show looks nice. It's clearly the cheapest animation you could get in the 90s, but it does the job. Characters are expressive, and the environments look very Mario and consistent with each other. The sound effect usage does make it feel cheaper though. It's like they gave a kid a Mario soundboard and let him loose. Now, animated movements do need to have sound behind them, but too many of those were replaced with off-sounding Mario sound effects. <laughs> it's not a big deal though, and neither are most of the other flaws, but the culmination of all of it makes it not worth it. The humor's dry, the pacing's slow, the music sequences feel off, and Yoshi and Uktar are annoying as hell. If you grew up watching the Super Show and somehow missed these cartoons, by all means, go watch them. You'll probably have a great time. But for anyone else, they're just kind of mid. If you have thoughts on any of this, let me know down in the comments. And check out this video, about Mario's first cartoon, a feature-length anime film. Yeah. Thanks for watching.